She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi I'm Lauren and I post videos about lifestyle, luxury and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video. So in today's video I'll be presenting you my designer coat collection which is ranging from brands like Moncler, Burberry and Canada Goose. You'll get to see in a moment that I actually have several Moncler jackets. Um, in the beginning I was kind of debating how to present those to you, like in what order. I was kind of thinking is it by price, is it by brand, and then I finally decided to rank them by warmth index. So we'll go with the least warm and then end with the warmest possible, which is in my opinion like a Canada only kind of coat, which you know I only use for Canada, um, as you'll see. Um, by the way, I will also include match hots because I understand that, you know, showing them to you on camera doesn't necessarily do much for the actual piece of clothing, so I'll be including match hots for size reference. I'm 5'11 or 180 centimeters, which is really tall. <laughs> so as you can imagine, it's really hard for me to find clothes that fit at this size. Um, also, I mean, for coats, the problem is actually mostly the sleeves, the sleeve length. So I have really long arms and so for me like most of the coats that I try on the sleeves just kind of end I mean some actually have ended on my elbow it's it's been that bad it looks like three quarter sleeves on me and so obviously you don't want that for coats because the idea is to be warm so it was very difficult to find um, coats that actually fit so I was really happy that I was able to find these kind of like still classic models that fit me so if you are tall too <laughs> don't lose hope <laughs> and uh, please let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these pieces or if they've been on your wish list by the way I have featured most of these items over on my Instagram so if you don't follow me already it's at lifestyle is my passion um, I post luxury items pretty much every day so go ahead and give me a follow there and we'll get started with the least warm right now Okay, so we'll be starting by the least warm, which in my collection is this beautiful Montclair jacket right here. So it's actually part of the um, long season collection, in French it says long saison, um, on the inside of the jacket. So it's actually meant to be worn pretty much year round. You can wear this in the summer, for example, in Canada, that works really well. Um, here in the United States, I wear this in like early fall or late spring. That works really well. The only downside that I would say is that it doesn't have like the hood. So obviously if it rains you are stuck having to carry an umbrella. Personally for me it's not the biggest deal breaker because to be honest I always carry an umbrella and I don't necessarily like to have a hood on because then it just kind of like destroys my hair <laughs> even more than it already is. Um, otherwise I feel like this jacket is really nice because it kind of gives you like a sporty shake look. Meaning that, you know, it's very practical, very like sporty, convenient, all that. But it still gives you like a little bit of a chic look because obviously it's got the Moncler logo right here. And, you know, the pink color makes it a little bit girly. So I typically wear this with, I would say, Lululemon um, leggings and then perhaps a pair of Nikes, something like that. Um, this is like my go-to jacket to go to the grocery store, run errands something like that. I mean, I wouldn't wear this like on a date or anything, but I think that this is perfect if you, um, you know, need to run around and you don't really know what to throw on and it's kind of still chilly outside and this is like the perfect option. Also, I think that for Moncler, it's not too expensive. If I remember correctly, I got this two years ago and I think that it was around six to seven hundred dollars, which, you know, for a jacket is not cheap, but for a Moncler jacket, <laughs> It's definitely not too expensive because you'll see that the warmer versions range anywhere from like 1500 to like 2500 So this is still pretty reasonable and I think that it's the perfect jacket for early um, fall slash late spring. trench coat right here which actually does come with the removable hood but to be honest like as you can see I've detached it because personally like I said I don't like to wear hoods I don't feel like it looks good on me I don't think that it's even 
practical <laughs> um, because my hair gets super messy after that so I've just decided to remove it but it does come with that option um, if you are interested so what I like about this um, particular model is that it comes with like a removable um, jacket on the inside so this is nice because normally as you know trench coats are kind of chilly they are made for the rain but they are not made for cold weather or colder weather and this is perfect because it allows you to wear the jacket a lot longer than if it didn't have the removable um, jacket on the inside so obviously as you can see there's still the beautiful check pattern I also chose to have um, the check pattern right here on the collar um, so for me this is something that I would wear pretty much with anything and any time of the fall so if you haven't seen already I did a video which was five fall outfits with matching designer bags and shoes so if you haven't seen that please go ahead and check that out I will leave it in the little um, information box right here so you can go ahead and see that but I've featured this beautiful um, very very trench coat for me this is pretty much the perfect fall piece um, it goes with absolutely everything you can pair this with a dress you can pair this with pants you can pair this with a skirt this really really works with absolutely everything so i chose the beautiful caramel slash how would you call that in english i'm not sure like beige or something like that color because um again for me this kind of works with everything and what's nice about this is that it also is a lighter color so it allows you not to have like color transfer on bags um, so that's nice because you know you can wear something like dark jeans and then if your bag rests against this then you can wear a lighter color bag so I actually posted a video recently which was a Chanel shopping vlog in which I actually wore this precise trench coat and then a pair of like dark jeans and I had a pink bag and so the bag was resting against this which just you know it gave me absolutely zero color transfer so I was really happy about that. Um, for me, this is really the perfect fall piece. It matches with everything. Again, I think that you know you can dress it up or down. You can wear this like to run errands as well as on a date. This is something that I would totally wear on a date with like the matching Burberry scarf. Um, you know, a nice pair of boots and a nice little dress. This would be like the perfect um, date outfit for me. I think it's like 70 or something percent wool and then the remainder is cashmere um, again this is something that works with everything you can dress it up or down what I really like about this coat is the beautiful caramel tan color similar to the actual trench coat it works with lighter bags which is great because I feel like you know in the winter I always wear like dark fabrics and stuff like that and so I'm always super scared to take out lighter color bags um, so I feel like, you know, it's not okay for me to like buy like a pink bag or a blue bag or something like that and then like absolutely not wear it during the entire like fall and winter season. So this actually allows for that. So I'm super happy about that. I think that um, it wasn't necessarily cheap to be honest. I think that it was around like $1,500, which <laughs> is pricey. <laughs> I will give you that. But what I think is that it's something that's absolutely timeless. It's something that I see myself wearing for the next like five to ten years. So yeah, it's something that will never go out of style. It matches with everything, with every color in my wardrobe. So if you know me either from Instagram or from YouTube, you know that I wear a lot of black. I have a lot of black pieces in my wardrobe. And this actually really complements black super well. Um, I also did recently buy a new Chanel bag, which is a beautiful burgundy color. Um, and I've actually taken um, the bag with this coat to do a photo shoot and it was the perfect combination. Um, so if you haven't seen that, please go ahead and check it out. I will leave it in the little description box uh, right there. So I have actually featured this coat quite a bit over on my Instagram because this is pretty much for me the perfect full coat for occasions. To be honest, this is not really something that I would wear to run errands. I would feel like, you know, it is a waste of money or a waste of 
of something nice. <laughs> um, but I do wear this for like photo shoots, to go to the mall, to go out. I mean, not that we're like going out that much <laughs> now, but um, you know, for photo shoots or events or anything like that, this is the perfect um, coat. What I also really like about this is the cut is really amazing. It really slims you down because um, if you can see right here, so this is obviously the back of the coat, there's this little, um, yeah, I don't really know how to say that in English. That's kind of always a problem that I run into in my videos. Um, there's this like piece right here that um, allows you to like look slimmer than you are, which not to say that I'm fat or anything, but you know, it's always nice to have that. <laughs> um, and then it also comes with the beautiful check color which is really nice. I hope that you can see it. Yeah, you should be able to see. Um, which, you know, is really nice. It's obviously like the signature um, mark of Burberry, so it's something that you can um, recognize. Other than that, I would say that you can definitely see that this is a Burberry coat. Um, the quality is amazing. The cut is really beautiful. And for me, even though it was not cheap, it's really worth the investment because it's a timeless piece that, you know, I'm not going to say that you're going to pass this down to your kids, but um, I think that this is really a solid investment for the next like 5 to 10 years. Taught me that it's my fault, my fault that it's over Wish I played it different, I didn't know All the times that you call, call me to be closer Wish I paid attention, I should've known You're probably with your friends, dancing on tabletops Hands in his head already Saying that you forgot about me I just don't wanna know who you give Alright, so now we're moving on to the real winter coat part of this video with this beautiful Montclair jacket right here. Um, I've actually had this jacket for, I believe, like five years or something like that. For me, this is such an essential and such a go-to. I would say that I wear this jacket pretty much every single day of the winter right here in Maryland. I think that it's actually the perfect level of warmth. So I do see people with like Canada Goose jackets and stuff like that. But to be honest, like for me, I don't think that's really necessary. So you will see that I have one, but I only wear it um, when I go back to Canada. Um, and for me, this is really the great, perfect level of warmth for here. Um, so it obviously does come with the hood right here with this beautiful um, raccoon fur over here. Um, personally, I don't wear the hood. Again, it's just not my thing, but it does come with it if you don't want to carry around an umbrella, so that's always kind of nice. Um, and then what's really practical about this jacket is that it's really easy to wash. Um, you actually don't have to take this to a dry clean, which is nice. Um, I've pretty much spilled, I think, like coffee and um, hot chocolate, I know, it's terrible, <laughs> in the car too, <laughs> um, over, over um, this jacket, and it's actually been really easy to wash, um, so there are actually washing instructions inside the jacket, so you can do it yourself and you don't have to take this to a dry cleaner, so this has been really nice. Other than that, for me, this is really a staple, a go-to. You can really dress this up or down, it's obviously a more sporty jacket, like um, it's a lot more sporty than the wool coat, but it still works really well with classy outfits. The only restriction that I would have with this jacket is personally I don't really wear this with dresses. Um, I don't think that it matches dresses that well, I think it's a lot better on pants. Um, and if I want to wear a dress then, you know, I would actually choose um, the wool coat over this, I think. This is a lot more sporty, but you can still look chic. I mean, obviously you will see that I will include my shots. Um, and yeah, I will obviously wear this with pants, but you can see that it will still be like date material, <laughs> like, um, and that it will still be classy, elegant, and things like that. Um, what I also really like about this jacket is, um, you know, as I've told you, I've had this for five years. And for me, it's still very trendy now and very like classic and everything. So for that reason, I do consider this you know, a timeless piece. I think this is still something that I'll be wearing like five years from now. So it wasn't cheap again. It was again something like 1,500 if I remember correctly. But in my idea, it's really worth the investment because like I said, I've had it for five years and 
it really doesn't seem like, you know, this jacket has any damage or anything and I've been wearing this every single day of the winter, so I would say from like December 1st to at least um, the end of February or something like that. So for me this is really nice. I like that um, it is an investment. Obviously you pay um, a significant price, but I think that it's worth it in the sense that you don't need to have a 1,500 jackets after this one. Um, you'll see that I actually have less than 10 winter coats um, and I live in a cold place and I've lived in Canada before. <laughs> so less than 10 winter coats I would say is pretty good. Um, so yeah, I mean I really like this piece and I hope that you like how I style it. She said her favorite color Yeah She said her favorite color yellow It look good on her dress Trying to be slim thick, nothing less But she's falling in and out of love Her heart was broken Wonder if your summertime crushes even notice It burns in July But a dream is the best kind of lie, yeah I realized when I walk I just want you, yeah, yeah I just want you, yeah, yeah Should've told you, made a move, yeah For me who is like 5'11 or 180 centimeters so it is a longer jacket um, so this is why I will definitely include my shots so you can see a lot better than right here on the screen because I don't really think that it does it any justice um, but I've had this jacket for a couple of years now for me this is a really good investment if you live anywhere really cold um, you know I would say maybe like uh, Vermont and above would be my, um, my cut um, so I only wear this in Canada, like I've said, I don't wear this in Maryland, for me this doesn't feel like it's necessary to wear this here, it just feels like more of a hassle than anything, I, for that reason, yeah, I don't really wear that, I don't need it, I don't get super cold really easily, so for me this is something that I reserve when I go back to Canada, I think it's extremely practical to have this jacket because it's obviously very sporty and things like that, like to walk in the streets of Montreal, it's perfect. Um, I would say that pretty much everybody has a Canada Goose jacket <laughs> um, and it does feel like, you know, it is necessary. Um, what is really nice also is that, um, like I've said, it's a longer jacket and so if you fall on like ice packs or something like that, this will kind of um, not prevent you from falling but prevent you from like hurting yourself. Um, because it will make your fall a lot softer. Um, there are these terrible like ice packs downtown Montreal and I've fallen like <laughs> a couple of times already um, but this has kind of like made the fall a lot smoother and just kind of you know prevented me from going to the hospital so I know that green isn't necessarily everybody's cup of tea but I wanted to have a jacket that was different than everyone else's so as I've said like pretty much everybody in Canada has this jacket or has a a Canada Goose jacket, so I didn't want to get something like plain black or gray or something like that that absolutely everybody has. And for me, not only do I like green, but I also have green eyes, so I thought this would be really nice and this would like complement my eyes really well and make it, you know, something like kind of special. Um, I like to pair, you know, very traditional classic models with something that not everybody has for me it is still somewhat important i mean i don't necessarily only buy things that nobody buys <laughs> but um when it comes to jackets i think that that was a really nice choice for me and it's very original for that reason um what's also really nice about this jacket is obviously it is um really warm and it's really warm because it's longer so not only does it make your fall easier it just kind of keeps you warm around like your hips um, if you are shorter, it will keep you warm around your thighs and like maybe your legs as well. So that's kind of nice. I would say the only downside with this is it's not really practical to sit. 
So for example, you know, if you've left your car outside for a really long time in the snow and the ice, etc., and you get back to your car and you're freezing, uh, sitting down with this jacket is not really practical because, um, you know, you really can't open your legs at all. It's like you're stuck inside. Um, so I would say for that reason, it's not really convenient, but I mean, for me, it's still not a deal breaker. You can just like slightly open um, the bottom of this and this will be fine. Um, it also does come with the hood right here, which actually on this jacket feels pretty practical because if you're caught in like a snowstorm or a blizzard or something like that, this is perfect because, you know, um, an umbrella will not help you in this case. So uh, being able to flip the hood on is really, really convenient and easy. That means you don't necessarily have to have a beanie or anything like that. You do kind of look like an Eskimo, but <laughs> that's fine. It's got a cute look to it. Um, and anyway, I mean, you know, if, if you are living in Canada or something like that, you know that cute is not necessarily the priority um, as much as being warm is. Um, so like I've said, I've had this jacket for a couple of years. I would say that the downside, if I had to put a downside, would be um, it stains extremely easily and you do have to take this to a dry cleaner imperatively, like absolutely no question. Um, cleaning yourself is impossible. It leaves even bigger stains. I have tried <clears throat> and not succeeded. <laughs> so, um, so that's kind of, I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but it means that pretty much after every season, you have to consider that you have to take this jacket to a dry cleaners. So I've actually tried going to several um, different specialist dry cleaners in Montreal that specialize in treating Canada Goose jackets. And what I've always noticed is that the color kind of fades after that. Um, and so after a couple of dry cleans, the color is really different than from when I originally got it. So for that reason, um, I mean, you can definitely see that it's no longer a new jacket or remotely new, I would even say. So it is not too expensive, if I remember correctly. It was around a thousand Canadian dollars a couple of years ago. But you do have to expect to have to switch jackets every like four or five years, because after that, you will really see that it's no longer new and you will see that the color really fades which you know perhaps on something like a black jacket is fine but on this beautiful forest green color then it kind of looks dirty to be honest so that would be a downside for me it's still not a deal breaker because this is obviously a super practical jacket for canada i don't think that there are more practical jackets than this one or than any canada goose jackets to be honest i don't feel that Montclair really compares in that department so for me, this is really nice and I would still 100% recommend it with the little reminder that you do have to expect to keep buying them every couple of years. I don't want to go home, even if I'm always on my phone. All these people I don't even know, but I got nowhere to go. And you know I'm always fucking broke, it's better than being alone. I don't want to go. Nights alone, since you don't want me, you said maybe I'm not cool. Like you thought Roll out of bed Call a friend He said, are you okay? It's been like a month I don't wanna go out to the west side I gotta forget about the best nights Talking to a bunch of girls I don't like But I try to pick them up with my best lines She moved to LA to be famous Only showing up if there's a wait list these people talking about the same shit When we're lonely but not lonely when we're wasted I don't wanna go home even if And last but not least we have this beautiful Montclair jacket over here So this is actually a couple of sizes up from my actual size And the reason why is because I actually use this jacket um, to go on the snowmobile So as I've told you with the Canada Goose jacket the problem is that you cannot sit down because it's obviously a longer jacket, right? It um, is down to your hips or even your legs if you're shorter than me. But this is actually kind of a short jacket. So it's really easy to sit down. And obviously on the snowmobile, you're sitting on that for a couple of hours or even like an hour or two. Um, and with a Canada Goose jacket, like it's absolutely impossible. <laughs> um, you can't even spread your legs enough to, um, you know, put your feet um, up on the pedals or anything like that. So it's just not even possible. Um, so this is why, you know, I wanted to get this jacket is because it's obviously something different. It's part of the ski collection from Moncler, so it's super, super duper warm. Um, so it's obviously really nice to go on a snowmobile because, you know, with the wind, you tend to get a lot colder than just, you know, if you're walking in the street or something like that. 
Um, so that's why it's really nice. I chose something very simple and kind of plain black just because this is not necessarily like a fashion statement. It's more something that, um, you know, I want to be comfortable. And so for me, I have like a couple of like ski pants and stuff like that and ski boots um, that are black. So this kind of makes like the perfect all black outfits for doing the snowmobile. Um, and what's also nice about this jacket is that it comes with this beautiful hood right here with a fur, which is also really nice because if you do get cold on the snowmobile, um, you know, you are supposed to wear a helmet. I will say that. Um, but what's nice is that you can pretty much put this even on top because the hood is gigantic. So that's kind of nice. Or you can like wrap it kind of um, by your neck, which feels really nice and warm. Um, what's also nice about this jacket is that it comes with these like kind of inside gloves. So obviously those are not um, <laughs> enough for Canada, but it is kind of nice because it prevents um, it from being a space between the jacket and like the gloves or the mittens. So it is nice in that sense, plus it like gives you this additional like little warmer um, fabric. Um, so you know if you are outside a lot like me, like if you are interested in winter sports, uh, if you ski, if you snowboard, um, if you are interested in like going on snowmobiles or stuff like that, um, this is pretty much the perfect jacket for that because it still allows you to move. Um, like I said at the beginning, I did um, size up a lot. I think this is about two or three sizes up from my actual size. I think this is either a medium or even a large. Um, but for me this is perfect because I obviously want to wear like warm sweaters underneath and things like that because I don't want to be cold. So I specifically chose that to be a larger than it should be. It's not a fashion statement. You'll see like I'll include a couple of mud shots. You know if you're interested in being outdoorsy or anything this is perfect. But I wouldn't obviously go on a date with that or I wouldn't even wear that like in the streets. I think that my <laughs> my neighbors are going to be like who's this girl like <laughs> who's dressed and you know like 100% Canadian outfit here. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I wouldn't wear this in the street even in Canada. It's not necessary, but I think that if you're interested in doing winter sports, then this is the perfect jacket. It's not a magic fashion statement, but I think that you still look kind of maybe a little bit fashionable. <laughs> workout. <laughs> um, but still nonetheless it was super fun for me to film this. I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope that it gave you good ideas if you're looking for a winter coat or a jacket or anything like that. Um, I hope that you know it was informative and beneficial for you and I'll see you in my next video. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not